Ah, there we go. Hey everybody, Tom Young here from Boost Your Income USA. Dot com. Hey brother, I'm out and about and this periscope is going to be about why you need more than one income in your life. Doesn't matter if you're single, married, whatever it may be. Ah, purple hearts, thank you. Keep the hearts coming. Probably from Jordan. But I'm going to do this and I'm going to drive at the same time, but I'm not going to be watching the screen. I'm going to be watching the robe. So... How many incomes do I have? I've got three. Why do I have three? Because one is not enough. And my one income is from my job that I've had for 26 years, family business, and I enjoy it. My second income is from a company that I've been with for about almost four years. And my third income is from a company that I've been with for just a few months. Now, company number two and three are online and they make me money while I sleep, which is the best. So let me tell you why I believe it's a good idea to have more than one income. And then we'll, you know, you, you take it from there. Everybody has their own reasons. Now, <clears throat> for me, I wanted my wife to be a stay-at-home mom eventually. We have an eight-month-old little girl. And she had a job and everything. So, but going back a little further, her job was doing well. And before she got pregnant, or I'm sorry, when she got pregnant, she trained somebody to do her job, pretty much. And... My wife was fortunate enough to take six months off with the baby. She goes back to work. And a month after she goes back to work, she got laid off. But the girl that she trained uh, is still working there. So, so you know, it's... Is that legal? Who knows? Probably. Uh, I know that they kept her and laid off uh, my wife, Monica. Uh, and they're paying the other girl she trained a lot less. Um, is she as good? I don't know. But regardless, uh, now Monica is at home and, uh, you know, going back to school, doing some things and has become a stay at home mom, which I like. Now, income for me, number two and three are helping to make up that difference in the loss of income that she had. Okay. And... I started these two, income number two and three, before she got laid off from her job. Now, she came to me this morning and she said, if my job calls me back to work, I don't want to go. She goes, I want to stay home with the baby. And I said, okay. So that's going to be possible because of income number two and three that I have, okay? Now, I always preach to people, have a plan B in case you lose your job. Have a plan B in case you lose your job. Well, it came down into our own household where my wife actually lost her own job. So because we have a plan B and C in place, um, it's not as stressful as it would be if there was no uh, other plan at all. So why do you need more than one income? For simple reasons like that. If you lose your job, you need something to have in its place. You know, you've got all these bills, you, you've got rent, you have mortgage. And what happens if you lost your job tomorrow? What would you do? Unemployment pays only a fraction of what you would be getting. And most people are living week to week. So they're taking their full paycheck and they're putting it towards bills. Well... What happens, let's just say, if you didn't lose your job, but your pay was cut in half, would you still be able to pay those bills if they're cut in half? Chances are probably not because you're already living week to week, so you're spending your full paycheck to pay bills. Again, what happens if you lose your job? 
Now you've got virtually no money coming in, but those bills keep piling up and keep piling up and keep piling up. And that is how a lot of people have lost their homes, lost their apartments, um, got so backed up with debt and everything, it, it's just unreal. So having more than one income is going to help you in many ways. One of them is gonna take a lot less stress. Now I know a lot of people out there say, I'm not gonna lose my job, I'm good, I've been there for 20 years, 15 years, 30 years, whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. Loyalty left within the job place when the economy went down back in 2008, 2009. Uh, it's all about cost savings and production for companies. So, I mean, my wife who lost her job after being there for four years and helping them land big contracts still lost her job and I hired somebody um, who was older but had no experience at less pay. So, you definitely need more than one income. I mean, if you're relying on one income in today's age, the way things are going with robots taking over job positions, I mean, you, you're already seeing McDonald's, when you walk into a, into a McDonald's, they have a kiosk there where you place your order. And then somebody brings out that order to you. What does that do? That eliminates the need for somebody to stand there at the front and take your order. So those jobs have been, a lot of those jobs are, are, are gonna be gone very shortly. So having one income is very scary. Losing your job is very scary. Losing your job and not having a plan in place is even more scary when it happens to you. And eventually, it will. In my, in my family's business, even though the business is 70 years old, there's a saying in our industry, you're only 90 days away from closing your doors, which means if customers stop walking in our front door, Within three months, we would be out of business, which would mean that I'd lose my job. I have to prepare for that. I have to prepare for, for whatever could happen. And if you're not preparing for something that's yourself, you're preparing for failure and you're preparing for a lot of stress uh, when it does happen to you. Because it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. And you've got to prepare for it. So I almost, I guess you could almost. Sometimes I look at myself as I call myself uh, an income prepper. It sounds kind of odd. If you've ever seen those prepping shows on TV where people prep for the worst disasters and whatnot. Well, some, you know, I've had some people say to me, you know, what, what do you do? What, you know, I said, well, say I'm an income prepper. I teach people how to have plan B's and plan C's in order to, you know, help if plan A, which is your job, ends up being lost. So, you know, just preparing for the worst. Um, for me, plan B and plan C uh, will be taking over my regular job, A, and that'll be my full-time income, along with keeping the wife home. And at the same time, uh, I'll be able to do these things and, and retire early. So, that's my Periscope for today. If you want more information, then please go to my website, www.boostyourincomeusa.com. I see comments coming up, but I'm watching the road. Instead of reading them, I'll be able to go on to this afterwards and read them. But if you're looking for more info, go to www.boostyourincomeusa.com. Put in your information. I can talk to you more about it, about what I've been doing the last four years to supplement my income. And we'll go from there. So have a good day, guys. See you on the next one.